hello there uh, topic of the today is to make a teleport panel for the place so let's get to this video without any further discussion first of all we need to go to uh, folder wherever you have a folder for example i have a blueprints folder i will go here and uh, just create a new blueprint class by right click blueprint class and choose actor from here let's call it teleport bp and now let's open this from here we need to design any kind of portal which we would like for example some sometimes we just like the door like or something like that but i'm going to make it a base like material so let's do it First of all, I will be doing basic stuff. We'll add a cylinder here and uh, reduce its size or just lock this scale and increase in any direction like this. Unlock it and uh, reduce the uh, z axis to 0 0.1 or something like this. It would, it, it would make it look like this so um, that's basically the panel which we are willing to make and let me do it again 0 0.1 0 0.1 so uh, the base is ready for from here we need to add a collision box Just click here, uh, sorry, not on this. We will be clicking on the teleport BP and then add, and then the collision under the collision boxes. We need to add a, a box collision, or capsule collision, and sphere collision. We would be basically adding the sphere collision here and uh, increase its size. Just lock it and increase its size. drag it upward mm, like this and from uh, when we have selected this we will click on on component begins overlap and when overlap begins we will just open level open level by reference here from here we need to choose a reference uh, of the levels which we have created from <coughs> my point of view i have created a few levels from by copying my default third person map i have created this strange word i will choose it from here the strange word and that's it now we have to test it we will place it in our this map current map it's up to you wherever you would like to place it and uh, where you actually want to utilize it okay i have placed it here now let's test it's right here okay we are teleported so this is the basic functionality of the teleportation and uh, uh, if we want to improve it we will basically do it like this mm. open the teleport bp and uh, from here we can uh, promote it to a variable and now this is the level variable and we will make it instance editable and then save it and from here we just have a default value of this what this will make us it will make us uh, capable of editing the required level from here for example if you want to switch it somewhere else so let, let me show you what i mean by this let's say we are switching to strange world 
I will go to third person maps and uh, in the strange world I will open this okay. render pro okay sorry the textures are rendering from here I will place this teleport right here and from here I will choose the third person map and save it now let's test if we go into this it will teleport us here and if we move it here it will teleport us to this map so this basically uh, teleports us to and from so that's the basic functionality if you want to uh, make some styles and something like that you can just do it for example if uh, let me add quickly a basic shining material which would give it give it us science fiction look okay uh, from here I will go to viewport click on this cylinder and uh, from the material from the material I will choose the choose, choose what where is that okay it's hard to find from here so we will just go to content and starter content materials and we will just choose from here it is clear we can just choose this or whatever material you would like let let's create a new material mm, new material and uh, let me call it light material and now I, if i just open this material come on open this material and from the base color i will click from mode to parameter and uh, from the default value I will increase just this uh, and now from the uh, emissive color I will just drag and constant and it is just zero so we will just in <coughs> increase it to about 100 or something like that or 1000 is too much it, it should not be let's say 200 or something like this okay it's now you can see it is glowing we can just change it uh, its brightness so if we just want to do uh, take it on the next level we just multiply and multiply both of these values this and this value and then inject this value to here now what it will do it will basically uh, sh shine over this material instead of using the default material as you can see it's a little bit more brighter and if I just change the color from here it will also change the color of the glow it's like this so let's go to teleport BP and uh, from the basic shape from here material I would just do a light material and that's it now let me test from here it's as you can see no it's up to you if you want to make it more uh, fancy and smooth or something like that it's up to you and I hope you have liked the video and by the way if uh, for a short note if we uh, go to our, sorry we already have it open here so if we go to our um, event graph of this 
component begin hit there is also a method which is available load level by object reference and when the level is loaded then it will from here we will just uh, sorry we will inject this value in both of those so from here load level this level and when the level is loaded then it will do that thing so accomplish and uh, then if we test it so it is basically uh, same uh, almost same but it gives us a little bit more control for example uh, if we just load the level and show the progress of the loading or something like that it that's the basic thing i hope you have liked the basic idea you can use it anywhere making 3d uh, menus or something like that as you can see um, this works perfect and i'm sorry for my bad textures and blah 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 okay i hope you have liked the video bye bye for now take care of yourself